Our longer term aim is to expand our footprint of O2 Wi-Fi, which is open to everyone and also intelligently enhance our services at street level where people need network the most. PIP breast implant bows dismiss women's concerns. The owner of a French breast implant maker at the center of safety fears told police he had nothing to say to women facing surgery for the re removal of implants. France banned implants made by Poly Implant Prothes PIP with industrial silicone in 2010 and some 30,000 women were advised to have them removed. But founder Jean Claude Master police at the time that victims had only filed complaints to make money. The UK is set to reveal its updated advice to 40,000 affected women later. The press reporters in Paris said Mr. Mass has shown no empathy with those left with unenviable choice. PIP had used a low-grade industrial silicone gel that had been manufactured for use in mattresses in place of specialist medical materials. Surgeons' concerns excerpts from Mr. Mass' interview are being re-examined by a French magistrate. The interview reveals PIP had re deceived European safety inspectors without a problem for 13 years by ordering employees to hide the unauthorized silicone where they visited its factory. Concerns about the safety of the firm's implants were raised when French surgeons noticed they ruptured more easily than others. The French government has since quoted a rupture rate of 5%. UK ministers have previously said the risk is much lower with authorities putting the rate in line with other implants at 1%. However, they ordered a review after Reports suggested from one cosmetic surgery group, Transform, suggested it could be as high as 7%. Anuj Bidwe's shooting parents visit Salford scene. The parents of an Indian student shot dead in Salford on Boxing Day have spoken of the senseless act of violence on a visit to the scene. Anuj Bidwe, 23, was shot in the head at close range on 26 December as he walked along Oudsal Lane with friends. At the scene, his father Subhash Bidwe and mother Yogini said it was an exceedingly difficult visit to make. Prime Minister David Cameron, who is on a visit to the Northwest, has spoken to the family on the phone. Earlier, Mr. Cameron said he was willing to meet parents if they wished. Absolutely horrific, it is not clear whether there will be time for a meeting before they return to India. The Prime Minister said it was an absolutely horrific act that had taken their son away. It's unacceptable to have this sort of crime going on in our country, he said. Nigeria Christians hit by fresh Islamist attacks. Nigeria has been hit by a fresh wave of violence apparently targeting the country's Christian communities. At least 17 people were killed in Mubi in Adamawa state as gunmen opened fire in a town hall where members of the Christian Igbo group were meeting. There were also reports of deadly attack in Adamawa's capital Yola. The Islamist Boko Haram group said it had carried out the attack in Mubi and another in Gombe on Thursday night, in which at least six people have died. Python swallows deer as a whole. Zookeepers at an Indian zoo were surprised to find that a python had helped itself to one of their dear deer. The snake was unable to leave the scene because it was so heavy from its meal. Keepers later removed the snake and it will be released into the forest reserve. We'll move on to the business world. Samsung Electronics has said it expects to report a big jump in profits for the final three months of last year thanks to largely recorded smartphone sales. The South Korean firm said it expects to operating profits for the period to be 5.2 trillion won. 
73% higher than a year earlier. Samsung overtook Apple as the world's biggest selling smartphone maker in the second half of last year. The firms have been locked in a number of patent battles in recent months. Analysts said Samsung's profits were likely to grow again this year. Samsung is likely to continue record-breaking earnings this year as earnings from flat screens and memory chips will improve making up for any potential slowdown in handset growth rates, said Lee Seung Wu at Xiong Securities. I'd expect profits to grow by another 5 trillion won this year. The company is due to publish its official results for the fourth quarter 2011 later this month. Welcome to the world of science. Video tracks reckon Mars probe. The failed Russian Mars probe Phobos Grund has been pictured moving across the sky by the Paris-based amateur astronomer Thierry Legal. The spacecraft is seen moving left to right in a video. The bulbous shape of its fuel tanks and its outstretched solar panels are easily discernible. Mr. Legal uses a sophisticated telescopic tracking system and captured similar imagery of NASA's defunct UARS satellite last year. For Bosgaran is falling to Earth. It is expected to recenter the atmosphere in the next eight, nine days and burn up. The Russian Roscosmos said on Friday that perhaps 20 to 30 pieces weighing no more than 200 kilogram in total might survive the destructive dive and impact the surface somewhere. And in sports! Australia vs India, Michael Clark inspires innings victory. Captain Michael Clark set Australia on their way to an emphatic innings and 68 run victory over India and a 2 0 series lead. Clark, who scored an unbeaten 329 in the first innings, removed Sachin Tendulkar from 80 to spark a dramatic middle order collapse after lunch. Ben Hafelhouse finished with 5-106 as India were bowled out of 400 after tea at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Tendulkar remains one century short of 100 in international cricket. I can't keep the smile off my face, said man of the match Clark. Tonight's going to be very special to the team, but for me personally as well. And now before we close today's bulletin of news analysis, let's have a recap of the main points. China wants US on Asia military strategy. Syria unrest, 10 dead in Damascus blast, says State TV. Turkey Ergen Khan plot, ex-army head Ilkar Basburg held. Europe's biggest free Wi-Fi zone set for London. PIP breast implant bows dismiss women's concerns. Anuj Bidwe is shooting parents visit Salford scene. And there we end today's bulletin of news analysis. I request you be with us in the coming weeks too. Thank you.